Hi everyone. This is our first attempt at an online training uh, in service. We're going to conduct uh, training on our new AV system here in the training room at the firehouse. Rather than have everybody come up, go through the training uh, time and time again on it, we're going to shoot this video. We're going to send it out to everybody through I Am Responding and through their emails. We're also going to post it on the iPad in the training room for everybody to use. Very lucky the fire district has invested uh, quite a bit in the training room upgrades uh, here in 2017. With the upgrades are the audio system upgrades, which it runs on a Sonos sound platform. If anyone uses that system at home, it's pretty slick. Um, our video system is also very uh, interesting and advanced. It operates off of an iPad that we have over here, and I'll take you over there shortly. And basically everything is one click. Uh, we have a, a system that's in place here, it's locked. Uh, we don't have to touch anything on it at all. Everything is done through the iPad. Uh, if you are shooting a video, uh, or if you're showing a video on uh, DVD, you have multiple options. I would like you to use the computer to play DVDs, but we recognize that many times you have DVDs that are pausing and skipping to different chapters on a regular basis, like when we conduct CPR training. Then you would use the DVD player that's up top here. Uh, we still got to connect the plug to it, the vendor's coming in to do that. So that's that. Before we get into the system, we'll talk about probably one of the most regularly used pieces of equipment we use is the microphone. We're going to be using this for all meetings, uh, large events, training conferences, and so on. We have a lapel mic that's in a bag on top of the system here. It is always hot and always ready to go. All you have to do is simply put the switch on and talk into the switch. The system operates in the training room and club room, but also can be isolated to the training room. On the other side of the wall, there's a dial like what we have in every room of the station to control the music that will control the volume to the club room side. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. We'll now take you over to the iPad and show you the meat and potatoes of the system. Go over the iPad is attached to the wall. The magnet that attaches it to the wall is actually the charging system. So when you take it off the wall, it's not charging. When you put it back on the wall, it starts to charge. Pretty neat. You come over to the iPad and you select the home button. The password is 1880, pretty simple, and it brings you up to our home screen. What would you like to do? VGA is our computer, and there's a VGA adapter up on top for when we have guest instructors. That will give them the VGA capability along with sound. HDMI capability, which you know is the single plug for audio and video. Those are for computers, DVD players, and other equipment. Watch cable, which is our Fios. We have a Fios tuner that's built in for HD video. PC, which is the training room PC that you have here uh, for when we're showing things from the desktop. And the Blu-ray player, which is our DVD player. Today I'm going to bring you up and show you how to watch TV in here, which is probably one of the things we do most regularly in the training room when you're showing TV. You just select the button that says watch cable and then the magic happens. The screen will come down, the projector will power up, and the biggest key that you have to remember with this system is patience. Sometimes it takes a second or two for the system to fire up because it's sending multiple commands to all the pieces of equipment. At the same time, the projector will turn on, the screen will come down, and the video will start to play. Soon we'll be having some hot buttons uh, on the desktop of the iPad that will allow you access to independent networks, ABC, NBC, and, and so on when you're watching football games and everything or for training events. So as that machine's warming up, like I said, pretty much the only time-consuming part of the operation, you're going to see some different functions uh, that we're able to do. This mimics the Fios remote, guide, menu, live TV, and so on. To control the volume of the TV, you simply control it through here. Projector is still warming up, as you can see. You can see we have TV going on the screen. Now we want to turn the system off. Simply press the power button. Confirm. And allow everything to do its function. While that's happening, we'll go into a quick tutorial of the audio system. You're having events up here, 
simply select the Sonos button. Sonos gives you the ability to have many different applications. They're waiting for me. Tune in radio, Amazon Music, iHeart Radio, Pandora Radio, Exxon Radio, Spotify, and other applications. Right now, we'll go to XM, excuse me, we'll go to uh, Pandora. We have that set up for some plays, uh, playlists for music for dinners and events, but you can set up party playlists as well. And control the volume through that. And then just hit the pause button to stop the music. That's all. Thank you.